Stephen and Desiree met at first year law. I believe they shared a couple of classes together. And I think one thing led to another pretty soon. They were sharing meals. They are going out together. And uh, then we get a call and say, hey, I met this girl. Good, Stephen. I want you to meet girls. <laughs> were you worried? <laughs> no, no, we weren't worried. But they said, well, great, it's about time you met a girl. And uh, I think this uh, started off a really, really tight relationship. They were in the same uh, classes. And then Stephen uh, stumbled a little bit in law school and uh, Desiree pulled him out. So she was uh, really instrumental in getting him through. Both of them graduated at the same time. They, they went through the bar at the same time, took the bar exam, passed it the first time. Uh, they're, they're just really good together. I think yin and yang. If one gets down, the other one helps them. So I think they complement each other very well. I think it's a good partnership, and we approve. <laughs> oh, that doesn't hurt at all, does it? Exactly. No, we were we were just thrilled that she's uh, going to be our, our uh, daughter-in-law, and, and I think it's just a great match. Desiree, I have not kissed the Blarney Stone, so please indulge my dull tongue. I have no idea what I have done to be blessed with such a beautiful and exotic woman. Every day I see another aspect of your beautiful soul. As each day passes, I come to see our time together as more precious than any stone that the earth can provide. Your ability to make me laugh when I'm stressed and calm my heart is astonishing. Your impish smile and dancing eyes keep me on my toes. Your wit and intellect constantly challenge my perceptions and force me to expand my horizons and question the world around me. If life is a battle, I could ask for no better a shield mate than you. If life is an adventure, then you are the one I want by my side as I discover hidden gems, spectacular sights, and explore unbeaten paths. When I encounter something new and fascinating, you are the first I want to share my discovery with. I think how frail and pitiful my words are when it comes to my feelings and the depth of my love for you. If you would have this imperfect man whose flaws could fill the ocean that you so love, I will promise to continue to strive to be worthy of the most magical creature that has blessed my life. I love you very much. My love, I don't care much for limitations. My most prized possession has always been my freedom, and it's told that freedom and love are rarely intertwined. But somehow I have found more freedom with your love and encouragement than I ever thought possible. In spite of my stubbornness, you've somehow created for us a world where neither of us have limitations, but instead only possibilities. Because of you, I believe I can fly. And thank you so much for this precious gift. Though I cannot promise a life without obstacles, and it's with an overflowing heart today that I promise you, the man who somehow has, <laughs> has embraced this crazy gypsy soul, that throughout life's challenges, you will never be alone. I promise that no matter the time or the distance that divides us, I will always be with you. I promise to lift you up when an off-cynical world does its very best to bring you down. I promise to be your greatest champion, encouraging you to carry on when quitting looks like an option. I promise to nurture your youthful spirit, allowing it to shine through and light the way through all of our darkest days. And through this together, and by the grace of God, we will continue to soar above silver lined clouds for as long as God allows us. I love you. I'm overjoyed to stay forever with you as my dear, my darling one. It gives me incredibly great pleasure to present to you Stephen and Desiree, husband and wife.
Good night, guys. Good night, oh, oh, thank night. you so thank much. Thank you so Good night. much. You got, hey, wait, you got enough to eat, right?